Hello, my friend. Welcome to your sleep story. My name is Stephen Dalton. I'm an Irish storyteller, and it's my great privilege to be the voice that you listen to as you go to sleep tonight. You know, I've always loved cities. I've been to some of the greatest cities in the world. New York, Mumbai, London, Paris, and indeed my own hometown of Dublin. And so as I was thinking of what story to write next, I thought, what about a city where everyone gets amazing sleep because of a person called Miss Sleep, the Sleep Keeper. So tonight, you're going to visit Sleep City, meet Miss Sleep and her fairies. And maybe let me know in the comments what's your favorite city. Okay, let's do the relaxation session, which will take a few minutes before we start tonight's sleep story. I'm going to count down from ten to one. And as I do, allow yourself to let go more and more. Ten. Feel the support of the bed beneath you and the floor beneath that. Feel the support of the earth, how the earth constantly supports us. And as you tune in to that feeling of supportedness, be curious. See what it does to your body. Whether it allows you to give in, to let go a little more. Nine. Tune in to your body now. Notice where you're holding. Are you holding in your hands, in your belly, in your neck, in your feet maybe, wherever you're holding, just release now. Your body has worked hard for you today. It's time to let it rest. Eight. You are safe. Enjoy that fact. Also, remember that my voice is a friend of safety. My voice will only bring you to safe places, so trust in that as you move closer towards sleep this evening. Allow my voice to be an anchor of safety. Seven. Snuggle in a little more now. Maybe you need to adjust slightly. Maybe you just need to pull your covers over your head a little more. Just enjoy the coziness of this moment. Enjoy the peace of this moment. Six. 
peace lives within you. It is always there, just waiting to be seen, to be acknowledged, to be felt. See if you can find it this evening. Five. The day is done. Whatever has been, has been. Whatever will be, will be. Whatever thoughts are arriving in your mind tonight, they might be about the day that was, they might be about what is to come. They're not useful right now. They don't serve you. But don't fight them. They are just a part of being human. So welcome them. See them and then gently ask them to leave. See them floating away, like leaves on a river, or clouds in the sky. For you deserve rest. You deserve sleep. It is your right. So know that. Enjoy that. And just continue to sink into this moment. More and more. Three. You have nowhere to be, nowhere to go, nothing to do. How lovely is that? Feel the peace that is offered by that fact, and continue to let go. Two, begin to engage with your imagination now. Begin to see a beautiful city, a city of skyscrapers stretching out in front of you, and notice that the sun is gently setting. Our nearest star is saying goodbye to the day. One. Completely let go now. As I tell you, tonight's sleep story. It is evening time in Sleep City. All of the residents of this great metropolis are busily going about their evening tasks. Some are commuting home from work on Dreamstone Highway. Some are closing the shutters of their businesses. Some are preparing their evening meal. Some are curling up in front of the television, and some are even getting into their cozy beds nice and early. 
There are many types of people in Sleep City. There are many different types of homes in Sleep City. There are many different types of lives being led in Sleep City. But one thing that each and every one of the residents of this great city have in common is that they love sleep. Not only do they love sleep, but they all get the perfect night's sleep every single night. Why? I hear you ask. Well, there is one very special lady who lives in Sleep City. But she doesn't just live there. She is the founder of the city. She is a person that all of the residents look up to and adore. Nobody knows her first name, for she is simply known as Miss Sleep. Now you may be wondering, how does Miss Sleep manage to help all of the citizens of Sleep City get such good sleep? Well, I'm glad you asked. And the answer, of course, is fairies. Hundreds and thousands of fairies go out every night and silently, diligently, and thoughtfully make each citizen's sleeping area a haven for deep sleep. Everyone's needs are different, and so everyone's sleeping area is different. And tonight, you are on your way to meet Miss Sleep and her team of fairies. In fact, you will have a private audience with her. Your driverless car has taken a left onto Dreamstone Highway, and you are looking at the metropolis that is Sleep City in the distance. You sit back and relax as your car takes you towards the city. The sun has just set and the first stars are appearing above the magical skyscrapers. A sense of calm and safety and coziness envelop you as you get closer to this deep sleep paradise. The skyline is beautiful, a breathtaking view of twinkling lights against the evening sky. The skyscrapers, with their gentle, glowing windows, reach up towards the stars creating a skyline that blends the wonders of the night 
with the marvels of human creation. Each building has its unique design, reflecting the diversity and creativity of Sleep City's residents. Dreamstone Highway itself is a smooth, serene path lined with trees that seem to whisper lullabies as you pass by. The air is fresh and carries a hint of lavender and chamomile the signature scents of Sleep City, known for their soothing properties. The atmosphere in Sleep City is different from any other metropolis. It's as if the entire city has been designed with relaxation and tranquility in mind. As you approach the heart of the city, you notice the gentle hum of activity as people prepare for the night. The streets are alive with the soft murmur of citizens enjoying the evening. Whether it's a quiet dinner at a cafe, a leisurely stroll in one of the many lush parks, or simply unwinding in the comfort of their homes. Your destination is the residence of Miss Sleep, the revered keeper of sleep. Her home is said to be in the oldest and most serene part of the city, a place where the magic of sleep is most potent. As you near her residence, the excitement of meeting the founder of this unique city grows. The building that houses Miss Sleep is an elegant structure surrounded by a beautifully manicured garden, filled with night-blooming flowers and soft, mossy paths. The building itself exudes a sense of peace and timelessness. You park your car, and step out, taking a moment to breathe in the tranquil air of Sleep City. The door to Miss Sleep's residence opens softly, and you step inside ready to meet the architect of this haven of rest and to discover the secrets behind the perfect sleep that blesses the residents of Sleep City night after night. As you step inside the residence, 
you're greeted by a sweet little fairy, her wings shimmering with a soft light that adds a magical glow to the room. She ushers you into a sitting area that feels like a dream. The room is bathed in a warm, soothing light with plush chairs and sofas that invite relaxation. The walls are adorned with delicate paintings of serene landscapes and a gentle fountain in the corner adds a melodic backdrop with its quiet trickle of water. Sitting in one of the comfortable chairs is Miss Sleep. She has an aura of serenity and deep wisdom about her. She is an elegant woman, with kind, sparkling eyes that immediately put you at ease. Her hair is silver, flowing down her shoulders like a river of moonlight. And she wears a gown that seems to be woven from the very fabric of the night sky. Deep blues and purples dotted with sparkling accents like distant stars. As you take a seat across from her, Miss Sleep welcomes you with a warm, gentle smile. Her voice is soft yet clear, like a lullaby that soothes as it speaks. She invites you to share your experiences, your challenges with sleep, and any concerns that weigh on your mind. As you talk, Miss Sleep listens attentively, her gaze never leaving yours making you feel as if you are the most important person in the world at that moment. She nods understandingly as you speak. Her expression one of deep compassion and empathy. It's clear that she genuinely cares about every individual sleep. Seeing it as essential to their well-being. Her presence is comforting almost as if her mere proximity brings a sense of calm and relaxation. After you finish speaking and airing anything that you need to get out, Miss Sleep takes a moment to reflect on your words. 
she then begins to speak, offering insights and advice with a wisdom that seems to transcend the ordinary. Her suggestions are practical, yet they seem infused with a sense of magic befitting the unique nature of Sleep City. As you converse with Miss Sleep, you feel a weight being lifted off your shoulders. Her understanding of the intricacies of sleep is profound and her ability to tailor her guidance to your specific needs is remarkable. In this beautiful room, with the serene Miss Sleep and the gentle ambience of her home, Allow yourself to feel safety, to feel hopeful, and to feel reassured that peaceful, restful sleep is within reach. Then, Miss Sleep beckons a little fairy over to her and whispers in her ear. She instructs the fairy on where to bring you in Sleep City in order to meet all of your sleep needs. You get the feeling that it might be a special place. You say a kind farewell to Miss Sleep as the delicate and graceful fairy begins to usher you towards the door. Then, Miss Sleep turns back to you with a reassuring smile. You're in good hands, she says softly. My fairies know just the place for you in Sleep City. You express your gratitude to Miss Sleep, thanking her for her wisdom and kindness. Her presence alone has already brought a sense of tranquility to your heart. Now, the fairy assigned to you flits ahead, leading the way out of the residence and into the nocturnal beauty of Sleep City. The city at night is a wonder to behold. The streets are quiet and peaceful, illuminated by gentle, ambient lighting that creates a dreamlike atmosphere. You follow the fairy as she weaves through the city. You pass by serene parks where soft, glowing flowers release a calming fragrance into the air. 
the buildings, each unique in architecture, are adorned with subtle artistic touches that celebrate the theme of rest and relaxation. As you travel through the city, the ferry leads you to a scenic route that overlooks the gentle flowing river of dreams. The water reflects the city's soft lights creating a mesmerizing dance of colors that soothes the mind. You cross quaint bridges and walk along cobblestone paths lined with whispering trees. Each step taking you further into a state of calm. You arrive at the bottom of a beautiful, tall building. And as you enter the building, escorted by the fairies, you're immediately struck by its interior beauty. The lobby is elegantly designed with soft, ambient lighting and artwork that celebrates the night and sleep. The atmosphere is serene, a prelude to the peaceful experience awaiting you. You step in to a magical elevator, its walls adorned with images of the night sky, twinkling stars, and gentle clouds. As the elevator ascends, you feel a soothing sensation, as if you're being lifted not just to a higher floor, but into a realm of tranquility. The ascent is smooth and quiet. The only sound being a soft melody that seems to echo the rhythm of a peaceful heartbeat. Reaching the top floor, the elevator doors open. But instead of a typical hallway, you're greeted by the enchanting sight of a magical garden, suspended high above the city. This haven is a masterpiece of beauty and serenity. It brings to mind the hanging gardens of Babylon but in a modern cityscape. Lush greenery, flowering plants, and 
fragrant herbs are arranged in perfect harmony, creating a natural sanctuary in the sky. There is a beautiful sound here as well. The sound of what can only be described as the rainforest. The garden is bathed in the soft glow of moonlight. And little fairy lights twinkle among the leaves and flowers, adding to the enchantment of this place. Water features, with their gentle bubbling, contribute to the soothing ambience. The air up here is fresh and cool, carrying the subtle scents of jasmine and lavender, calming your senses further. You walk along a path lined with soft moss and smooth stone Feeling a profound sense of peace with each step under your bare feet. The garden is designed in such a way that it feels both expansive and intimate. And as you look up, the stars seem brighter and closer than ever, twinkling against the backdrop of the velvety sky. It's almost as if you can reach out and touch them. Feel the ancient light that has traveled across the vastness of space to shine down on you. Now, as you breathe in this magical place, the fairies, with a hint of playfulness in their eyes lead you not to a conventional room but to a surprising and enchanting alternative as you watch a soft glowing cloud gently floats down from the night sky, guided by the fairy's gentle magic. The cloud, shimmering with a faint light, hovers just above the ground, waiting for you. The fairies beckon you closer, encouraging you to step onto the cloud. As you tentatively place a foot on it, you find that it's surprisingly solid and stable, yet at the same time, as soft as you'd imagine a cloud to be. 
It's like stepping onto a bed made of the gentlest mist and fluffiest cotton. You feel so safe here, and so you fully recline on the cloud, and it adjusts to your shape and weight, cradling you in a way that feels both supportive and impossibly soft. The fairies, satisfied with their work, flutter around the cloud, infusing it with warmth and a sense of safety. They sprinkle a fine, sparkling dust over the cloud which further enhances its comforting embrace. Slowly, very slowly, the cloud begins to float upward, carrying you into the night sky of Sleep City. As you ascend, the panoramic view of the city expands before you, a kaleidoscope of lights and shadows, skyscrapers and stars, all blending into a serene nightscape. You are not alone up here. The fairies are with you, keeping you safe. And you see in the distance other sleepers who have been prescribed a cloud sleep by the keeper of sleep, Miss Sleep. Up here, as the sounds of the city fade into a peaceful silence, you are surrounded by the vastness of the night sky. The stars seem close enough to touch. The moon bathes you in a gentle light. The cloud, your floating sanctuary, drifts lazily through the air, moving with a tranquil rhythm that lulls you into a state of deep relaxation. As the fairies dance around you in a delicate ballet of light and color, you feel all concerns and thoughts of the day melts away. On this cloud, high above Sleep City, you are in a realm of peace and dreams. The sensation of floating safe and warm, 
on your own personal cloud is like being cradled in the arms of the night itself. You close your eyes, breathing in the cool, clean air, and let yourself drift off to sleep. Tonight, you're not just in Sleep City. You're a part of it, floating amongst the stars, embraced by the night. In this magical bed, Sleep comes naturally and easily, a journey into a world of dreams, comforted by the soft whisper of the night sky and the gentle magic of the fairies. And who could forget Miss Sleep, the keeper of sleep, who prescribed you your cloud, and this night of deep and restful sleep.